Hello guys, today's video is another demo project which will be available for free on GitHub. And this is actually an answer to a comment on YouTube. I was asked to create something about employee attendance, some system or some panel. So this is exactly what we did with teammate Marius and here's the result. Attendance management system. Really simple one based on quick admin panel but with some custom code. And here's the demo to track employees or anyone's attendance. It's actually usable for schools or wherever you have start or stop work. So first we need time entries, start and stop, and then we need reports. So basically two things in this video. And this is a quick demo. So I'm logged in as an employee and I click start work. Success, work time has started. There was an Ajax call to the server. And then after some time, I click stop work. And by the way, this changed if you noticed and then work has stopped at hours, so which is eight seconds currently. And then I can go to time entries and I see only my own time entries. And there is some data preceded, like testing data. So this is the latest one, these eight seconds. And then finally, I can go to reports and see my report of how many hours did I work each day and also per day, what were the time entries. So for example, I didn't work yesterday or the day before, but it, there was 13 seconds today. And also these reports are visible for administrator, but just with one difference that they can filter exact employee and manage employees and add employees. But the core of the system is these two things. So time entries and reports. And this is how it looks in the database. So if we refresh, we have one table time entries, which is really simple. Time start, time end and user ID, basically all we care about. And if we click start work here, success, and then we refresh. As you can see, time end is null. And whenever I click stop work at nine seconds, we refresh that table and this is filled with current time. Now, how does it look in the code? So we have menu blade PHP file and this is the probably the most important link, start work or stop work. And this has an ID of timer and it's visible only for non-admin users. So JavaScript below in the same menu blade file has two things. So function to switch work status uh, and it changes the text from start work to stop work and also fires a sweet alert. It's called sweet alert. I will also link in the description below the video about sweet alert, how to install that. So this is basically swell fire as sweet alert fire. Uh, and then whenever the page is loaded, it gets the latest time entry and checks if it's active and then it automatically switches to stop work, the link. And then whenever it's clicked, then another API call goes to post, update the current time entry and then returns back and fires basically the same method switch work status. Now, if we get to that admin time entries, show current and update current, it is in time entries controller. So we have two things, show current and update current. And it's pretty simple, time entry, where time is not ended yet, whereas user is logged in user, and there's a first entry, if it's returned or not, and we just return JSON. Uh, then update current is basically checking if there is time entry again, and if there is, we update it to now, update the ending time, and otherwise we create a new entry with only time start and time end is no by default and we return the text that we want to show in an alert and basically that's it in terms of starting work and stopping work now let's get to reports for this report we will be using our own package by laravel daily called laravel charts and we are using that inside of our quick admin panel as well for generating simple charts like this one so group by something group by date some aggregating so simple charts and uh, the code is this one so report controller, first it filters the employees for the admin, so they would be able to choose the employee for the report. Then it generates the date range and we are using report service for that. And also I will link in the description a recent video about services and how to use them, also useful. So we generate the range, basically with carbon period, we generate an array. So nothing really fancy here. Uh, and then we generate the report, which is time entries, just the collection or array of entries uh, by some parameters. So date range uh, and 
time entry grouping by date start and mapping so some collection stuff you can check that in the github repository to have more understanding but then we call the chart laravel chart function is the same that's inside of our laravel chart package and there are some parameters so this is the way how you can draw a simple chart so you specify time entry as a model you're grouping by by the day of time start and you're aggregating the sum of total time chart and total time chart is a attribute of time entry time model uh, total time chart attributes actually there are two attributes get total time by day no not by day by entry so the exact entry time and then total time chart is for transforming that to hours basically dividing by 3600 which is amount of seconds in an hour uh, and then it aggregates the sum of that total time chart and returns the report and in report index all we can do, all we need to do is just render the chart with this. So you don't need to call chart.js, call any for each statements. That's the whole point of our package of reports package. So really simple controller stuff and really simple view stuff. And then all the logic is behind the scenes. So this is how you render the chart, render HTML. And then at the bottom also you need to call render.js if the chart exists. And you do need to load the chart.js from Cloudflare. And then that thing, date range, is for the table of entries, which is on the right-hand side here. So basically, that's it. Uh, for more details, you can check out the repository or shoot the comments in the YouTube video. I will comment on certain sections. But apart from that, this is a demo project free for you. If you have any more ideas for more demo projects based on Quick Admin Panel or outside of it on Laravel, I'm happy to build something if it's simple enough. Like if it doesn't take like full week or month uh, from myself and the team for those simple projects, especially with Quick Admin Panel because it's quicker, uh, I'm ready for that. So shoot in the comments and see you guys in another video.